Welcome. The following technical support video will show you how to use the new Print From RIP application on Multi-RIP GP direct to garment RIP software. In the example we're going to use, we're going to be printing this graphic, which has an orange background. And we're going to use the RIP to remove the orange background and print this graphic onto a black shirt to start off with. And then I'll also show you what it'll look like on an orange shirt and how to use the settings in the new print from RIP to get the best looking colors for you. To begin with, we'll open up the multi-RIP interface, go up to the very top corner, click on File, and go down to Print Job. This will allow us to open up the print interface. Once we have that, we'll go over to our predefined settings and we can use one of those or we can create our own. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of those. Once I select it, you'll notice that the background has changed to a black color since we're printing it on the black cotton. You can check the printer and print area tab to make sure everything is set the way you want it. The same goes with the print settings as well. Important when you're printing on the black cotton, notice your print quality for both your color layer, your density layer for your white ink, and the number of passes that you want to print. Once we have all that set up, we can go and bring in our graphic by going to File and then down to Import Graphic. We just need to locate the file. There it is, it's the one with the orange background. We'll go ahead and bring that into our RIP. We, first thing we need to do is go ahead and size it to the area we want by just grabbing the corners. It's actually constrained and you can see all this information underneath the Artwork tab. You can have it center it horizontally and center it vertically so it's in the dead center keeping the constrained portions will keep your graphic the proper size. So once we have that, we can go to the white ink control. We're going to use our white ink layer generator and choose use background color. We're going to use that one. What happens in the RIP is it's going to find the color in the very top left corner. And whatever color the RIP finds that, it's going to turn that into transparent. Go ahead and then create a white ink underbase under everything else that's in here and it'll grayscale. So that way the darker the color, the light, the less white ink will actually be dropped down. The next thing we'll look at is our slider for white ink under black. If you want to print a little bit of white ink under black, you can use the slider to adjust it depending on the amount. We're just going to go ahead and bring this down to around 20%. Should be fine. And now we'll go with the black handling. Since this is going on to a black shirt, I want to go ahead and use the black in the shirt. Um, so that way the black, any areas in the black in the basketball, especially around the stripes of the basketball, will stay the same color as the shirt. Over time, black shirts do tend to fade, so this black will go with it instead of making it look like it's going to pop out. So once we have that set, we'll go ahead and click the Create button and have it create our white ink layers, set our density, and then create our preview. Now what you'll do, you'll notice, is the orange background is now gone. You will not see this is because we're viewing the color tab. You notice the stripes in the basketball when it comes down here, the black ones are now gone. If we look at the white ink, you'll notice this area down here, which is more the darker area of the basketball, is has less white ink. The areas that have the brightest colors have more white ink. That's because we need to drop more white ink in order to block out the black in the shirt go ahead and click on the preview. You can see what the preview will look like on a black shirt and you notice that the lines in the, the basketball now look black. This is the way you would do it with a black shirt. If you were putting this on to any other color shirt, and to do that all you have to do is click on the set material color. In this case let's say we're going to put it onto that same orange colored shirt. We'll go ahead and click OK. You're going to now see the file change and you'll notice that the black and the basketball stripes are now gone because we removed the black. If we want to correct this, all we have to do is click, unclick the remove black ink and go up to the top and just create the white ink again. Now you'll notice that the black and the basketball stripes have now returned. It's because we put back in the black ink that we were using. And what it does is use your black threshold number at 82%. Anything that is over 82% of black ink, it's going to remove or add back in. So once you have all of that set, all you have to do now is just turn around and go ahead and click OK and send the file.
file then will go into the multi-rip interface. So you're noticing up at the top that it'll processing it and then begin to start to rip the file. You have a status message tab which shows the information of it being processed which can be used for technical support purposes. If you look at the incoming tab you get to see the job as it begins to process the size of the file. If you go to the pages of printers tab you'll notice currently that it is printing um, one page for a white and it's already begun to spool. If you notice at the top the rendering and the white ink layers are moving at the same pace. The reason for this is the new print from rip application allows the white ink to be processed much faster and begin to print quicker. So once that does that it'll allow you to pick up your printing speed. For the purposes of video I'm going to go ahead and pause this and pick back up once we begin to go towards the end of the color layer. Okay we're coming back now and we're ending the process of rendering our color layer. Notice in the status message tab it'll go through you can scroll down and it'll talk about your ink cost. The ink costs also show up on the left side. We go to the Pages of Printers tab, you'll notice that the white ink layer is now ready, the color is finishing up the spooling of itself. Underneath both the Process Jobs and the Pages of Printers tab, if you double click on the job name, you'll be able to preview the graphic itself. It'll actually open up in another window. In this case, you're able to preview both Page 1, which is going to be our white ink layer that's going to be sent first to the printer and also the second page which is our color layer. Additionally from the pages of printers tab you're able to click both files, hold down the control key and select both of them, right click over that and be able to go to a preview a composite which will allow you to preview a very large setup area. It shows you the entire graphic in addition to that, you also have the capability of creating a production run and exporting both the white layer and the CMYK layers out, saving them for later if you ever have to reprint this graphic. And you never have to go into the print from application to reprint it. It'll have all the same exact settings for you. And that's how you can use the print from application in Multi-Rib GP to print a graphic that has a colored background that you do not want to print. If you have additional questions, please contact your distributor or visit multirip.com and click on the FAQ page up in the top right area and you'll see a list of all of the other frequently asked questions as well. Thank you and have a great day.